Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Being Engineer. In this video lecture, we are going to know how to find the cut length of a circular stirrup or ties. Now what is the difference between stirrup or ties that I have explained in my one of the videos. But in short, I will tell you that the shear reinforcement in case of beams is called as stirrups and in case of column it is called as ties. So, in this video, we are going to discuss how to find the cut length of a stirrup by using this formula that is, cut length of stirrup or ties is equal to circumference of a ring that you see in a red color. This is the tie, or you can say it is a stirrup. How to find its length? It is equal to circumference of a ring plus hook length minus total bend deductions. Now, there are different types of bend that we are going to discuss in upcoming slides. So let's get started. Let's suppose the diameter of a column is 800 millimeters. The external diameter including concrete cover is 800 millimeter. The diameter of a stirrup the, the one you see in a red color is called as stirrup or tie and the minimum bar that is taken for a stirrup or a tie is 8 millimeter. The minimum dia of stirrup or tie should be 8 millimeter and the concrete cover is 40 millimeter. Concrete cover is the distance between the form work and the reinforcement of a column or a beam. Diameter of a ring that is the diameter of a ring that is tie or a stirrup that is equal to D minus clear cover or that is or concrete cover. It can also be called as concrete cover or clear cover. Now to get the diameter of a ring we will deduct this distance that is concrete cover from the total diameter of the column. We will get the diameter of the ring which comes out to be 720 millimeters. Now there are different types of bands which we make to achieve the desired shape of tie or stirrup and these lengths, band lengths are to be deducted. Now if we have a 45 degree band that we have in a, a square or rectangular stirrup which I have explained in my previous video. 45 degree band and its length is equal to 1 times of dia of tie or stirrup that we are using. There could be 90 degree band which whose length is equal to 2 times of diameter of bar and 135 degree band and its length is equal to 3 times dia of bar of a stirrup or tie. Now there are different types of hooks and hook lengths. As you can see here there are 2 hooks in this circular tie and we have only one band which is 135 degree in a circular tie or stirrup and hook length is normally taken as 9 times of dia bar of a stirrup. Now to calculate the band lengths it is equal to 2 multiplied by 135 degree band as I have mentioned before that here in a circular tie we have only 135 degree band and there are two bands of 135 degree as you can see here it makes the angle of 135 degree and we have two bands of 135 degree so multiplying it by 2 and putting the value of band length as I have discussed in my previous slide that the band length of a 135 degree is equal to 3 times of dia of bar. So by simplifying it we will get the band length which is equal to 48 millimeters and hook length is equal to 9D and now here we have a two bands which will be equal to 9 plus 9 times of dia of bar. It comes out to be 18 times of dia of bar of a stirrup and dia of a bar is that is dia of bar of a tie or stirrup is 8 millimeters and it comes out to be 144 millimeter. Now putting the value of band length and hook length in the formula the formula is circumference of a ring plus hook length minus total band length. 
circumference of a ring or a circle is equal to pi d by putting values the value of a pi is 3.14 dia of stirrup that is, that is the internal diameter of the stirrup that is 760 millimeters plus 144 which is the value of hook length minus total bend length which is 48 and it comes out to be 2482.4 millimeters which is equal to 2.48 meters it's mean that we require 2.48 meters of length to achieve this shape of a ring or tie i hope you have understand the topic for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get video updates